All right, guys, yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, The Nature Boy, and I'm doing my first ever live reaction on the channel, so bear with me, guys. I'm gonna figure out how to, how to edit this, figure out how to work around it. I mean, this is all DIY, do-it-yourself stuff, and we're gonna live react, and we're gonna figure out the edit. Hopefully, hopefully, I can get it to you guys in a couple hours. Right now, it is Monday, 2.30 p.m. EST, so I want to try to see if I can put this up within the next three hours. If I can figure it out, good. If not, I'll get it out as soon as I can. Tuesday by the latest. Um, obviously, we're, we're reacting to Bleach. You'll see in the title, the thumbnail, Bleach Episode 6. Last episode was insane. This episode is probably going to be better. One, so, boom. without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, man, after the last episode, I can't wait. Yamamoto and Yuhaba. Let's go. Ishida, the Quincy extermination operation. Yo, he's quick. Yo, look at the animation. What the fuck? Yo, this animation is insane. What did he do? Is this his bunk? Bankai! What the fuck? That's his Bankai! Hey, the Zankai no Tachi is a Bankai that seals all of his flames. So he's putting all the power of his flames in just the tiny tip of his sword. Look at this man's face, bro. He is not fucking around. Dude, look, Yamamoto's just gonna break through it. No, no, I'm no, Yamamoto's too much. He's too much. He's too much. Th these awakened dead become my limbs and chase down those I deem to be enemies until they turn into dust. You cannot steal what is beyond your understanding. It's as simple as that. Bro, Yamamoto is not normal, man. Like, I knew he was going to be powerful. He said himself, no Soul Reaper has come in the past thousand years that would be a strong, that was stronger than him. I went to meet with Sosuke Aizen. What is this episode? We're getting Aizen. We're getting Aizen. I command, no. No. Aizen doesn't go under anybody's command. You go under his with my imposter. So all that time, now it makes sense. He learned it now. Now he knows it. Now he knows it. He stole it. Uh, now it all makes sense. He stole his Bankai. It's over. It's over. Man. Man. Farewell, Yamamoto. What did he do? Did he cut him? Don't tell me. Oh my god. Bro, Yamamoto is so powerful, man. Guys, what a fantastic episode. I I know last episode went was so hype, and even so, everyone was saying the next episode is gonna be even better. Personally, I didn't believe it because I thought there's no way you can have an episode more hype than the last episode with everything we saw in the last episode. Because the last episode had so much stuff. It wasn't just the Yamamoto stuff. It was the Byakuya stuff, the Ichigo stuff, the Urahara stuff, the Shunsui stuff, everything. We got so much in that episode. But this episode, first of all, first of all, one word, one word already makes this episode better than the last episode. One word, Aizen. Boom, it's, it's already better. The goat himself, the man who makes bleach, in my opinion, honest to God, the man who makes bleach what it is, was in this episode. I was not expecting that. If anything caught me off guard in this episode, it was that. In terms of Yamamoto and Yuhaba and how Yuhaba was actually using a clone, I kind, of, I kind of did think that as I was watching the episode because it just didn't add up. And I was thinking either this is some kind of like clone like we see in Naruto all the time with like the jutsus and stuff, either to clone or it's some kind of um, like, I like just like Aizen, where it's some kind of like uh, hallucination or something where he's like manipulating your, your set, your senses. Right. I thought it was something along those two lines, but I'm like, they're not going to have another main villain who has the same fundamental powers as Aizen, even if it's a little different, 
it would still be the same fundamental power. So I, I was figuring if it's not that, it's probably a clone. But I didn't think it would be the, the why yourself, Stern Rider, because didn't Kenpachi kill him? So if Kenpachi killed him, how did he come back? Kenpachi dropped all three of their dead bodies there. Unless I guess you're going to say Kenpachi thought he was dead, but he wasn't really dead. That's the only other way it would make sense. But even though Yamamoto wasn't necessarily fighting Yuhaba, he is still way too powerful, bro. Like, first of all, I didn't think we were going to get his Bankai. Right? I, I swear to God, I thought we were going to have to wait like three or four episodes for his Bankai. Even with the fast pace we're getting in Bleach, this is... This is Yamamoto against Yuhaba. This could be an end of an end of the anime type fight. This is gonna be like that level of a fight. This is like this is like getting All Might and All for One in the middle of My Hero uh, My Hero Academia. So I thought they were gonna milk it, right? Build. They're both gonna like test each other out. But Yamamoto is truly insane. He's a he, Yamamoto is a very interesting character, and I'll tell you why. Because he's the kind of guy who he won't show you any emotion. And he won't show you any damage. So like, Sasakibe dies right, literally right in front of him. No emotion. He gets buried. No emotion. He sees all the sword reapers that died in their initial invasion. No emotion. They come back again now. They're invading. They kill so many more soul reapers. One shot. One shot them to death. No emotion. No emotion. No emotion. The captains are starting to lose. No emotion. So it almost seems like even though you know he cares, but it almost seems like he doesn't care. But then when he, it's like he has a switch. He's either zero or a hundred. There's no in between. So the moment he clicks and he goes from zero to a hundred, you see he cares more than anyone. Like you can see in this episode that he cares more about all of the fallen soul reapers than anyone. And that's why he's the head captain. He truly cares for everyone. Even last episode when he was walking past, um, when he was walking past Hisagi, from everything that I've seen of Yamamoto so far in the series, I guess I had I had a wrong interpretation of his character. I would have thought he would say something to Hisagi, kind of like, oh, you guys need to step it up, making the head captain come into battle, or something like that. That just always seemed like his personality to me, that he would be like, he'd, he'd kind of like tease him for being weak and be like, you guys need to step it up, you're making me do all the work here. But no, he just told him, he's like, don't worry, don't worry, young man, You, I see you guys trying, I see you guys falling, you guys have tried your best, leave everything else up to me from, from this point on. And that's kind of like, it says a lot about him because it's like that saying where, where it says the quiet ones are the ones you got to worry about. That's Yamamoto. It's like, just because he's quiet and he's not doing anything, don't take him lightly. And we saw what happened last episode when that guy took him lightly too, right? Just incinerated him in seconds. So it's good to see that side of the character of Yamamoto too, where he's, he's, he genuinely cares for his people. That was amazing as well. Now guys, I do want to mention something that I have been spoiled on. I want to discuss it. So if you're an anime only and you don't want to be spoiled, I'm going to put a timestamp somewhere here. Just skip to that part, part, please. I don't want you guys to get spoiled on this. It's probably the biggest thing I've been spoiled on in the entire story. So skip it now, please. Three, two, one. Okay, so the end of this episode. I So if anyone doesn't, doesn't know, I already know that Yamamoto dies. And I can figure he dies to Yuhaba. It's like, obviously, how else is he going to die? He's going to die to Yuhaba. So, the end of this episode, it looks like Yuhaba cut him. And if he did, I'm thinking, there's no way they would kill Yamamoto this early on in the fight, right? But if they're going for that hype, if they're going for that pure hype sense with Yuhaba to hype him up for Ichigo... It would make sense to kill Yamamoto in one episode, but there's no way. We've seen so little of Yamamoto actually in combat in the entire story, and he's been here since day one. Did they really kill him off in the end of that episode? Is that really the end of Yamamoto's and Yuhaba's fight? I know he's going to die in the fight. I, I, I know. I'm not dumb. I can put two and two together. He's going to die in this fight, but come on. I expected more of a, more of a fight than that. It was kind of like he just showcased all of his powers which were insane powers, absolutely insane powers, but they didn't do anything against Yuha Aba, and now he looks like he's gonna die. So what was the point of it, right? Man, I really hope that's not the end of the fight. But anyways, guys, that's my live reaction. I don't wanna make this too long. I can ramble on for hours about this, so I'm gonna end it here, guys. Thank you guys for watching.
Comment down below what you guys thought of the episode. Like the video, subscribe, share, all that stuff. And guys, for my One Piece fans, my mega theory is I'm almost done it now. I'm finally in the editing stage and I'm in the end parts of the editing stage. After over a month of everything from, from idea to script to recording to editing, I'm finally in the last few days. So I promise you guys 100%, God forbid, unless something happens, it will be out this Saturday. So this Saturday, what I want to do is I want to premiere it. So I want to premiere, prob I'm probably going to premiere it at 12 p.m. EST, my time. And the reason I want to premiere it then is because I want to watch it along with you guys. So everyone that's watching it then, I'll be there watching along with you guys, commenting and discussing it with you guys there. Trust me guys, it's a big one. It's going to be really, really, really good. It's a little bit longer, but trust me when I tell you, it is going to be a 10 out of 10 theory. So again, Saturday, 12 p.m. EST, it's going to premiere. I'll see you guys for that. And again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace. Bye-bye.